Hi guys, Anthony here from The Hot End. In this episode, we're going to apply the E-steps that John taught us how to calculate in the previous episode. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do is open up your Marlin configuration file that came with your printer. Not all printers have a Marlin configuration file and not all printers actually run Marlin. This more applies to the open source community of printers um, and ones that come with an actual uh, Marlin file versus a hex file or something that's closed source. So open up the file, you can usually get it from the manufacturer's website and then we're going to need to go across to configuration.h. In here we need to scroll down until we find the e-steps which I happen to know is about line 500 and something where are we okay so default access steps per unit so this will be your X Y Z and this is your extruder so so once you've got the E step calculation number that um, John showed you in the previous video this is where you'll type it in. So if the number that he came up with in that calculation was 163.4 you would type in 163.4 in at this location. Then the next thing you want to do while you're in here is enable, if it's not already, your EEPROM and chit chat settings. And what that will let you do is save, uh, save settings from the control panel of the printer this is off by default on a lot of printers so you can't save settings to the uh, EEPROM and wreck it but if you know what you're doing it's fine generally on those ones this one will be commented out with double slashes like this all you need to do is take out those two slashes to enable EEPROM and there will also be another two slashes next to enable chit chat so once those two are defined and uh, you've uncommented them you can then compile your sketch and upload it to your printer now we'll move on to actually doing it via the display and I'll pass it over to John okay you've got the printer turned on naturally and this assumes that you have EEPROM and chit chat enabled in your firmware so first thing to do and it'll catch up in just a sec here we go is go down to control motion now you're just turning the knob here go all the way down to the bottom don't go into any of those others all the way down to the bottom you will see e steps okay click on that and there's your e steps as are set in the firmware you can change it as i just did Press your button again and go all the way up to the top and to the top and press your button. Now go down to store memory. Okay, press your button on that. That will store what you just did and change your setting permanently. And then back out and you're done. Easy as that. So I hope you found this information useful and um, you do need a little bit of knowledge with your firmware to be able to apply this. Not everybody's got that, I understand. So if you've got any questions, just let us know in the um, comment section below and we'll try our best to help you. We also have Patreon if you wish to support us financially. And if you're not already a subscriber, please smash that subscription button because it helps us a bunch. Um, thank you so much to our existing subscribers and our existing patrons who made this video possible, and we'll see you on the next one. See you guys.